Hey everybody, I'm Andrew and this is Jess from Gameosity, and today we're going to be taking a look at Beasts of Balance. Beasts of Balance is a sort of a dexterity stacking game where you're going to just get piles of uh, animals that are going to be added to this plinth. And you, uh, the animals need to be balanced physically, but they also have sort of an elemental affinity. And you want to keep that in balance too, because when your elements are all uh, in good balance, then that's actually going to score you a boatload of points. But as, as uh, things start to kind of get out of balance, uh, then you're actually probably going to suffer the consequences because things go wrong! This is Beast of Balance. In it, you get the plinth, which you're going to have everything stacked on, and all of these really neat animal pieces. Each one is a really nice finish, it's fun to touch and play with, and it has a little sensor bar that when you touch it to the plinth, it's going to recognize the animal, and then as you add it, it'll show up in the app. And that's how you get points. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple game. Okay. That'll balance out. It'll be fine. <laughs> I hope so. That'll be fine. It's fine. But the physical balancing isn't everything. Each of the beasts is worth a certain number of points. And when those points are not exactly the same, the highest point value beast is going to uh, cost points from all of your other beasts. Oh, there goes uh, yep. <laughs> there goes the Warthog. Hi, Warthog. It was rough. We are not optimizing our points No! Here. The way you manage that, well, every beast has an affinity uh, for a certain element, and you can actually raise their point value by adding more of the element that they need. For example, the octopus and the shark really like water. And by doing that, you can sort of try to get it so that your numbers are, are equal, and they will, uh, they will last longer and be worth more points. That's kind of tough, because everything, well, is constantly shifting, physically and in the elements. WHAT?! You're the one who wanted me to place it! <laughs> You're a mad woman. <laughs> Why would you do this? I like to see the world burn. So your other options are doing things like causing uh, your beasts to migrate from one biome to another, that changes their elemental affinity and increases their point value. Mad Jenga skills here. Yeah, Alright, let's see who migrates. Swan Jaw. Uh, of, of course. course. Of course. Yep. Up or into hogs. the sky. <laughs> oh, War <gosh>. Shog. <laughs> great, great job. You can create bizarre and sometimes terrifying hybrids of beasts using these pieces. Do you think we can cross them? I'm sure we can. Without me destroying the world? <laughs> we'll find out. Already? It, it worked! No one died! Within a certain definition of work. <laughs> what do we it? have there? Oh, oh, oh. We have swine a swine jaw! jaw. <laughs> Makes sense. Or you can even just straight up add more of an element to your world so that uh, beasts that have lower point values will gain more. And if you can't even them out, well you can at least keep them around another uh, turn or two to benefit from the points that they're worth. Bear, bear's, bear's going. Bear's going. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 So what do you think? Well, uh, I, I like it. Uh, as a dexterity game goes, it's kind of beautifully made. You know, the pieces are all yeah. really these like very stylized and, and attractive uh, bits. Um, the, the app is gorgeous. You know, the, the graphics are really, really cool. And I think the app is a neat idea. Yeah, I really like the, the humor behind it, all the names that they came up with for the animals. <laughs> the hybrids in particular are grotesque <laughs> and terrifying, but also hilarious. Yeah. Um, it, it is challenging physically. Oh my god, yeah. I mean, you've got the, the Warhog, which 
It's sort of a square yeah, shape. The warthog's kind of a table. He, he's easy. But then you've got things like the eagle, where everything is curved. Yeah, and it's all it's all faceted and weird. Oh my I mean, god. The, the octopus is uh, probably freaking out the, the world. Oh yeah. The, the octopus is, is hilarious, but the, I mean the, oh, shark, the shark, it's like... He rocks! I, yeah, <laughs> it's like his tummy. Anyway, so I mean it, it is a challenging game and and that's that's really fun in yeah. a dexterity game. I think I I like the idea of it. I find it very difficult to actually like game it and yeah. balance the numbers and do what it is. Yeah, usually we're just we're hanging on as long as we can and then, you know, we get a pile of points. The the expansion is going to give a lot to this game, oh, yeah. I think. Oh yeah. This is this is very simplistic. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think it's fair to say that for the Titanic production quality of Beasts of Balance, it is a it is a simple game. It's um, a, almost Jenga like in the simplicity part of it. Right. It's like there's there's really one thing. The expansion that's on it's on Kickstarter right now uh, is going to add all kinds of neat stuff to it and turn it more into a like a g game game. <laughs> you know, really. Just I'm sorry, Mr. Bunny. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I talk with my hands. I can't. Um, but otherwise, I I think this is really neat. I think this is a, a adorable. In some ways, like the octopus, I think just looks really cool and it makes a good hat. And make, makes a good hat. I think you might have blown up the world on oh, the no. map. It's okay. <laughs> you got like seven seconds to fix it. I think you fixed it. Yeah. Anyway, um, I I think it's really cool. I think it's a, a it's a little bit of a novelty yeah. uh, in some ways, but with, maybe with the expansion, it will become more of a more of a, a gamer's game. But otherwise, it's, it's really super cool, and I imagine. For, for kids. Oh my god, this they're is, gonna love it. This is gonna be super, super cool for, for any kids who are gonna be able to like enjoy the challenge of the stacking and, and check out the cool animals that they the can make. Weird hybrid <laughs> animals and you know and not just the hybrids, but even when you uh, migrate yeah. like you'll the, now it's a land shark or a bullet, I yeah, think a bullet. is what they, they call it. Um, and when a bear goes into the air, it's a bear, bear. with A-I-R, a a a yeah. whatever. It's very punny. Uh, but I, otherwise, overall, I think Beast of Balance is neat. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's like the most phenomenal, even dexterity game, but I think once you take the production quality into account, it really becomes sort of its own its own thing. I think it's very cool. Yeah, and the app does lend it a lot. You know, that's mm -hmm. just one step more interesting than a regular just bounce yeah, yeah, especially when you start doing things like, I mean, we didn't really talk about it, but this, like, these pieces that give you little dexterity challenges yeah. on the app while you're playing the game. Uh, so they give you points, but they also complicate your gameplay a little bit. It's very cool. It's a yeah. ton of good ideas. Uh, and I just, I think that it's a good start. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm Andrew. This is Jess from Gameosity. We'll see, see you next game. game. Hey there. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, Give us a like and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next game.